for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. I'm Bruce Schaller, and this video is on 2015 plastics. What's new? What's new in 2015 plastics? Going into the multi cavity area, we now have the ability to pattern at the mesh stage. So, what this means is we no longer have to spend the time setting up a multi-cavity model like this inside of SOLIDWORKS prior to going into the analysis package. All we really need is one single cavity and we can simulate the same analysis that's being done by going through all that primary setup without having to go through that setup. What we have to go through instead is just going in and patterning it inside the meshing area. So when we get down into the mesh area, I can go in and actually pattern this right here at this stage. I can set symmetrical runner systems up, cavity included, quarter symmetry, or full symmetry, and tell it how many I want to put in there. So much easier now to go in and do that benefits from that are it's going to be a much faster run time and I'm also going to get more accurate results from symmetry in my analysis. So one other feature that we've put into 2015 is the ability to look at wall thickness with a wall thickness advisor. So right now I'm able to look at, at two millimeters. The red is 30% above that two millimeters and the green can be 10% below. So it's, your, it's showing you where your wall thickness can be too thick or too thin. And we can actually look at that by value and get the real dimensions on the different part as well. Another new feature in 2015 is the ability to go in there and actually look at venting pressure in the results plot. So in our SOLIDWORKS Plastics Professional, they've added venting pressure. So I can actually see I'm at 19 megapascals of venting. So I've got some air traps going in this part. And I actually have some new capabilities now where I can go in there and look at adding air vents to certain areas. So if I came into here, you could see there's air vents added in those high pressure spots. And what I can do is I can now go in and look at the flow results and see with my air vents added what the venting pressure has changed to down to one megapascal in those areas. So two nice new enhancements adding venting pressure plots so you can really focus in on your areas that need venting and the ability to add the air traps virtually in the part so you can see the effect of that on the overall results with the venting pressure. Next on the list has to do with the type of meshing that we can use in SOLIDWORKS. If I go back into my solid meshing, I now have the ability to mesh apart using hex meshing, which is voxel based. But as of the way of doing it before, because we had voxel based in 2014 and 13, but I'll show you the difference. If I came in here and meshed this part using voxel based, actually this side of the part might not look too bad, but when we go to this side of the part, you can see my gussets step down and my snap steps in there. So the voxel based, although it was faster, it never produced the accurate results we need because it didn't capture the geometry shape. So in here now we have with 2015 the ability to do non-orthogonal voxel based meshing. So I can go in here and transform this. You can see this is going to give a superior mesh that'll run very fast with accurate results. So new type of meshing 
should give you some more capabilities inside of SolidWorks 2015. Thanks for watching. Got to go engineer quick tip video. Thank you.